remove the dust cover cap and the dust cover itself. Fit the rod extensions. Fit the shock absorber on the Mangusta. Adjust the extension system in order to press the guide 2 mm before reaching the end of the compression stroke. Press the guide in. With a tool like a hook, like for instance 96900A, remove the sear clip. Leave the rod to come up. At the end it is suggested to close the window and when hearing a sort of explosion means that the gas escaped and there is no more risk for safety. At this point remove all the components and clean them carefully. If necessary Dismount the components, clean and mount again. If the nut of the piston is blocked, unblock it on the lathe machine. Protect the chrome of the rod using light alloy house. Set the components respecting their original position and verse. Clean carefully all the parts. If a new calibration is required, requ replace the calibrator and the shims.
Tie the knot with the torque wrench Emetec 95584 seated on 10 or 12 newton meters. Replace always the O-ring of the separator, because with the oil seal, it is the most delicate component of a monotube shock absorber and can compromise its functioning. Lubricate the O-ring of the separator with grease in order to protect it when passing through the housing of the sear clips. Replace always the Teflon band around the piston and leave it pre-installed. Fit the separator and the piston into the gas injector, taking care that they remain above the gas inlet. Set the shock absorber on the Mangusta, set the ring glass around the shock absorber and set the injector on the shock absorber too. Set the extension on the road, lift down the piston of the Mangusta, block the injector with the stirrup, Connect the adjustable manometer 99119 between the injector and the nitrogen hose. Adjust the pressure of the nitrogen. And leave the, the rod down. When the piston goes under the nitrogen inlet, the manometer measures zero bar, but the body is already pressurized. Re remove the manometer, remove the stirrup, remove the injector, place the sear clip. Set the extension on the rod. Lubricate with grease the extension and the rod. Set the guide. Remove the previous extension and place a new one if required. Add also the spacer.
Leave down a little bit the road. Remove the circlip. Fill the oil and bleed out the trapped air, if any. Fill more oil within the border of the shock absorber and double check that any bubble of air remains between the guide and the oil. Push the guide in and mount the circlip again. Double check it has been properly installed. Remove the exceeding oil. Leave the rod come up. Check the guide is properly installed. Remove the ring glass. Put the oil on the tank. Remove the shock absorber from the mangusta. Clean it. Fit again the dust seal and its cover.